Holy shit was that entire card pretty lame, except for the main event. Honestly, Dustin and Islam saved it for me with an amazing fight. It's just a bummer that Dustin Poirier couldn't snag the lightweight title. He couldn't shine bright like a diamond this time. And I'm not gonna lie, I was really tempted to change my pick last Friday. And a big reason why is because it looked like Islam had staff. And I was worried about his cardio that wouldn't hold up because of the antibiotics. Plus, with Dustin getting the custom shorts and all that cool edits of him going around, it really felt like Dustin could win this. And I'm glad I didn't end up changing my pick. But Dustin Poirier did indeed show up, man. What we saw today was the best Dustin Poirier has ever looked. His takedown defense was on point, you know, getting back up from the bottom consistently from Islam Makashev. And I'm not gonna lie, when Islam took Dustin down in the beginning of the fight, I thought it was over. But Dustin just kept escaping bad positions and getting back on his feet. Islam even struggled to take him down, which I never thought I'd see. Dustin had plot armor, you know? And I was really surprised that Islam wasn't using his kicks as much. Instead, he really wanted to test his boxing skills, which got me hella nervous, man. But the boxing exchanges were wild. It was really a back and forth war. But I gotta say, it seems like Islam was winning most of the boxing exchanges. Don't get me wrong, Dustin had some awesome moments that got me out of my seat, but Islam was landing some great shots as well. I was super nervous because I felt like Dustin could catch Islam and pretty much knock him out at any moment. But I have to say this, I feel like Islam doesn't get enough respect for his striking, but after tonight, he definitely will. Not many people can box with Dustin like that, man, without getting knocked out. I'll tell you that. But in the same time, we can't forget the reason why Dustin was so open on the feet in this fight was mainly because he was nervous about getting taken down. Even though he was surviving most of the grappling exchanges, it was still in the back of his mind of getting taken down and submitted. So this kind of made him very open on the feet and I think that's why Islam was landing really good shots. But you know what was really nice? That finishing sequence between Islam and Dustin. That shit was incredible. Islam demonstrated why he's considered one of the best grapplers in the UFC. People often talk about their strengths and wrestling slash grappling skills, but it's the fight IQ of Islam and Habib that sets them apart in their like division. Their quick reactions are on another level. And I just want to mention if tonight was Dustin's last fight, what a way to go out, man. He had an amazing career, defeated many names. Selfishly, I kind of hope he doesn't retire. I would love to see Dustin come back. But I guess time will tell him, alright? And I gotta say this as well, the grappling of Habib and Islam cannot really be compared anymore. It's quite clear now that Habib's top control is on a whole different level. When Habib outgrapples you, it's like you're fused together with him. Compared to Islam's grappling, his top control is great, especially when it comes to submissions, but his last three opponents have shown that there's a huge difference. And look, I really do believe if you put Habib in those same situations, you know, those same three fights that Islam had, he does outgrapple them. I'm talking about Charles, he'll like outgrapple him and submit him. And when it comes to Dustin, he'll just submit him again. And as it goes for Alex, I'm not too sure about that one since he has those little legs, he's a little bit stubby, and he's just hard to like outgrapple and muscle and like submit, you know? With all that being said, I want to emphasize that that wasn't Islam at 100%. He clearly had a staph infection, which he didn't deny at the press conference. He was visibly limping going up the stairs during the weigh-ins, and the same thing could be said when he was climbing the cage after his victory. This was the worst version of Islam Makhachev we've ever seen. No judo, no kicks, weak in the clinch, and no squeeze. Islam Makhachev only stalled out the body triangle when he gasped, and it was one of those first things that he did. Kinda crafty when you got staff, you know what I'm saying? And I gotta say, we need to applaud both of these fighters. They both bit down on the mouthpiece and gave us a bloody entertaining fight. Congrats to Islam for his grit, spirit, and skills. Congrats to Dustin for a stellar career and for giving us a lot of fun memories in MMA. Also, that fifth round submission gave me Yuri for Sistic Sharer vibes. Also, this is not being talked enough in the MMA community. It is on Beat Staff, the Costa Curse, and the Lucas Tracy Curse. It kind of tells you how good this guy really is, you know? Despite Islam being off his game today, he showed that he's an amazing fighter. And it looks like he wants to go to the welterweight division and challenge Leon Edwards for the welterweight strap. However, I'm not sure if he can beat Leon. Obviously, like I said, Islam has mentioned that he wanted to move up, but based on his recent few fights, I truly believe now 
that Leon would be a nightmare matchup for him. Like, as boring as Leon is, people forget how really good he really is. Since Leon Edwards has already beaten the top wrestlers in his division, like Usman twice and Covington, and he might be another wrestler which is Bilal Muhammad, and it's quite clear he's a force to be reckoned with. While Islam is a great striker, Leon Edwards' precise and point striking could really give him a lot of trouble, and I don't know, personally, I wouldn't risk it. If it's really all about legacy, he should try to fight Armin next because if Islam defends the belt one more time, then he'll have broken the record for the most title defenses, which is three right now. Islam already has three, so if he beats Armin, he'll have four, breaking the record held by Habib and Ben Henderson. Just imagine if Islam breaks that record and then moves up to fight Leon. And if he somehow beats Leon, he'll definitely be considered one of the greatest of all time. But overall, this main event was badass, and I can't wait to see what Islam does next personally. Like I said, I hope it's a matchup with Armin Saryukian, but I guess time will tell. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, I don't know what you guys are waiting for. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, and I'll see you guys on my next one.